This is the TCL QM7 powered by the Google operating system. It has some advanced features like QLED Pro, Quantum Dock technology, HDR Ultra, and Dolby Vision. And along with the AI PQ Pro processor, you're gonna get clean images every time. And with a native 120 hertz panel that can produce up to 144 hertz using VRR, this TV is probably one of the best values I've seen in a long time. Now on this video, I'm gonna do some picture tests and we're gonna put it through the rankings to see how well this TV performs. Another thing is if you haven't already, make sure you go check out the unboxing video where I show you the menu system and some gaming right after this. With that being said, let's get into it. The 65 inch QM7 that I'm using today is a VA panel. And as you can see, as you get off axis, you will lose a little bit of the details and it will cause some color saturation. So ideal for this television to get the best sweet spot is to sit directly in front of it or just a little bit to the side. So now we're gonna check the brightness. In vivid mode, we're getting a lux of 15, 46. Low power mode, you can see that it will drop down to 1206. In sports mode, it goes back up to 1546 and it looks like it stays around the same in movie mode. And I would say that this TV runs pretty cool at the peak I've seen about 93 Fahrenheit, but on the average it's going to be in the 80s. So I feel that this TV is pretty efficient overall. Now I want to show you some upscaling on this television and I will tell you that I did fix my 480 demo. I had to export it out of my computer in different ways, but now it works and it probably will work on that Sony Bravia video that I did as well. Now with that being said, here's 480p content. As you can see, it is extremely blurry. And I really don't blame it on the television, it's just this TV has 4K capabilities and this resolution is so low that it is basically trying to bring up a signal that's already really blurry. A 480p signal is not widescreen, so this TV does have a zoom mode. In order to get to it, I had to go into the settings and then I was able to switch through the different modes and as you can see, you can fill up the screen, you can stretch it, and you can get the best aspect ratio by playing with these settings, especially if you hook up a older DVD player to it. But I will tell you that 720p, 1080p, and 4K looks really good on this television, so you won't have any problems getting a clear signal out of those other formats. Now, if you're a sports fan, you're gonna really love this television. Just look at the grass and all the details that you get in this picture, and the fact that this TV has a lot of value I really think you're gonna be very happy with this particular television compared to a lot of TVs that's even more expensive. I did get a comment on my unboxing video that they didn't think the TV handled motion well. The thing is, is that you have to update everything if you get a 4K television because the TV only has so many capabilities. You're gonna to need to go to YouTube TV or Hulu or anything that has high quality sources and then everything will look good. But if you have an old cable box or over the air antenna, those are really low resolution sources. Don't expect to get the best performance, but the TV will do its best to give you a decent picture. But if you do have great services and you wanna increase your motion, I wanna walk you through some of the things you can do to make it better. So here's the motion test. And as you can see, as I switch through all the different picture profiles, it will change the smoothness of the image. If you go over into the picture settings of the television and go down to motion, I recommend you go down and change the judder and this is gonna make sure that you can set the TV up and make it as smooth as you like through this custom profile. So if you do have a TCL television like this QM7, you definitely wanna play around with that motion to make sure you get the best picture quality. Now this TV does have up to 480 hertz of motion, so there's plenty to work with and do all your adjustments. For you movie lovers out there, this TV is phenomenal. I want to show you a few demos so you can see the reproduction of this TV. I love the fact that this TV has inky black levels and you're not gonna see those gray bars on the bottom and top like you get on some of the lower end televisions and the color reproductions on this TV really pops. And I want to show you what this TV looks like if you go through the different picture profiles. So as I toggle through here, you can see that Vivid is the brightest picture possible on this television, but Cinema Mode seems to be the one that a lot of people like. But with all these different picture options, I think you can just choose the one that gives you the best picture. And I'll make a calibration video on this television later so you guys can check it out. And when I switched it over to HDR, the TV got so much brighter that it almost blew out the settings of my camera, but we made some adjustments to make this happen. Now, one thing about HDR is that this TV has a very bright picture. 
Also in the HDR settings, now you get an option for IMAX, which you don't get on your normal SDR content. Next, I want to show you the dirty screen effect, and I will say that this TV is not perfect, but it does a really good job. On the all white scene, it does have like a red tint to it, and I'll take a look at that a little bit later when I get into a calibration. But overall, I can say that in the center, it's going to be pretty solid, and you're going to get some slight vignetting around the edges. Since this is a VA panel, I didn't expect too much blooming, and this TV did a really good job. And it's because this TV is a VA panel and it has tons of local dimming zones. So I would expect a really sharp, clean picture of this, even when you get a black and white scene together. I feel that it performed at a very high level. For our skin tones, I personally like standard mode. I like the more cooler look, but if you want to see it in this more accurate picture color, I want to put it over in the cinema mode to show you the different looks. But for our skin tones, this TV is very good, and I think everything that you play through it's going to look really good, and I was very impressed with it. And I was also impressed with the gradient on this television. As you can see right here, all the lines and the colors, they gel together very good, and you don't see any kind of pixelation or, or any type of gradient that makes the picture look saturated. I switched through the different picture modes just to see if any of them has flaws in it, and the QM7 went through all the tests with no problem whatsoever. Now the QM7 does have a subwoofer, some great speakers, but here's an audio test. I'm not sure if I'm that impressed with the audio part, but I love the picture. This is a Tech Steve audio test for the next few moments. Sit quietly and experience the range of this TV's audio capabilities as we test the boundaries of sound. is the end of the Tech Steve's audio test and transmission. So as you can see, the audio is decent, but it's not necessarily the most powerful audio system I've ever heard on a television. Now on the next video that I put out, I'm going to be attempting to calibrate this TV. Now Calman is one of the calibration softwares that I'm using. And the thing is, is that this TV doesn't support what they call TCL automatic calibration. So I'm gonna see if I can calibrate it manually for the first time. And I got a little kit right here. With that being said, what's my final thoughts about this television? I think it is a great buy. I mean, if you're looking to get a television, save some money, get a large screen, and get great performance, so far I've been happy with this television. Also, if you missed the video, I did some gaming on it. It has a game bar on it. It also has uh, different profiles that you can put the gaming system in and it will support 120 hertz on your PS5 or Xbox. And if you have a computer with a powerful video card, you can get that 144 hertz with VRR. But who is this TV for? I think anyone who's looking for a great television, you're definitely gonna be happy with this television. And I'm very excited to get to the calibration so we can see what differences it makes. It could be good or bad. That's all I'll have on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Our goal is to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Thanks all for watching. I'm Tech Steve, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.